Right, learners, good day and welcome to our session where we are looking now at phase three of the IEB PET for 2023. So I'm going to look at my two documents, again, the task guidelines and the assessment tools. And um, here you can see we're going to go through everything that's needed for phase three. Now, please remember phase, uh, phase three is our report. It's the final presentation. We're putting everything together uh, that we've done over the last two phases. So you'll see phase three also has two tasks and they start with task two. This is the report itself. So it's got to have a title page that includes the pet title, learner's full name, grade 12, cat pet 2023. You know, all those details, um, the table of contents and introduction. These are things you would have done in phase one. So um, you can just copy those things over. I'd basically take the phase one document and copy that over to the phase three fold and then make the changes necessary over there. Because you've already done a title page, table of contents, introduction, um, and the headings that you needed. Then... We're also going to look at um, the body, the paragraphs, the different content that you need to have. And basically in this phase, you are going to, and here they mention, you're going to explain the process, the development, course of action followed for the completion of this step um, in each phase. So, for example, yeah, they say phase one, I used the internet, but then discovered that I needed to do a survey. And then you'll give, you know, an example of the survey, you'll show the survey itself, show what was needed there. You're then going to do the same for um, phase two. You can see they give us an example. I used a word processing application to do a survey, but then I discovered I could use Google Docs. So they're just giving you a guideline as to what you should be um, doing there. So this is how you bring in phase one and then you bring in phase two. And for that, including all of that, you'll get your 10 marks. Okay. And then you need to have a conclusion. Obviously, you need to include your phase three info as well. But that's just uh, how you bring in phase one and two. Um, you need to have a conclusion. It needs to be a clear, relevant conclusion that provides a solution to the task. So not just saying, well, I'm done with everything now. No. Um, then there's a few marks for self-evaluation. And then for bibliography and referencing your accuracy, which we've done in all the phases so far, providing evidence that there's no spelling, grammar issues, and then handing it in on time. So if I look at the, um, the mark sheet that we use, you can see there, you're going to get marks for the title page, table of contents, introduction, the layout of the report. In other words, it's everything in a logical order. Do you have headings where there should be headings, etc.? Um, your body, paragraphs, content, you get 10 marks for the content itself, your conclusion, the self-evaluation, um, as I mentioned, bibliography, spelling errors, and the time management. Okay, so that's the one task. Uh, that's task two. That's going to count for around 35 marks. And they reduce that to a mark out of 25. Now, the next one is, remember where you are now in the same report, you are showing what you've been doing and what sort of skills you've picked up and how you've actually used them within the various phases. So here they show us, for example, with word processing, um, yeah, they mention the rubric to be used to assess all word processing documents. That's one, two, and three used by learners for phase one, two, and three surveys, forms, questionnaires. So in other words, when I look at this over here, um, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there over there. You'll see we've got marks that are given for word processing, spreadsheets, database presentation. So yes, phase three has its own requirements. But then we look at Word overall, the spreadsheets overall, database, you know, all of that. So we look at it in its entirety and we say, okay, well, do all your Word documents show 
for three marks. Layout shows creativity and structure and aesthetically pleasing. Is that what we see in your Word documents through phase one, two, and three? Yes or no? Can we give you the marks? Yes, or whatever the case is. When we look at your tables, are your tables formatted correctly? Do you see all of this? Have you got calculations? Um, is the text direction correct? The properties, the row height. In other words, does it all look good? Has your um, tables been designed appropriately? Um, are they meaningful? Does it serve a purpose or did you just put it there? Okay, that's how you get your marks. Then the um, creating and design of an appropriate template. So have you done um, a template for your survey, your questionnaire, or your electronic form? If you have, you'll include that template so that we can see. Okay, and that's how you get marks there. Remember, this all relates to just Word. Then they speak about enhancing and advanced Word processing. So enhancing of Word processing documents. Have you created a document that has, you know, headers and footers, maybe some special symbols, some characters, things like that? That's enhancing uh, the, the Word document itself. The advanced features is when you start using things like putting things like comments, section breaks, um, you know, drop down box, check boxes, those type of things. So if you've done those, you can see for nine marks, you will need to have at least five advanced features. And for your enhancing, you need to use at least three enhancements correctly used over the space of these different phases. So it's not specific to phase three. We need to look at everything you've submitted so far. Then the integration. Um, how has, you know, these documents, how have they been integrated with other applications? Is there evidence? You know, did you do a mail merge? Did you do a paste special? Did you import? Did you export? Whatever the case is. Um, but that's what they're looking for with regards to Word. And you can see that totals up to, again, 25 marks. Okay. Then... Going on to task one of phase three, they say use the information processing, um, analyzing, create documents. Um, suitable assessment tools must be substituted if another application is used. Choose two out of the three or two out of the rubrics that follow. So Word is one of them because you're creating documents. The other one was where you really had a choice of whether you're going to use spreadsheets or PowerPoint or database access database and we take the best two of the three so you'll see with your spreadsheets you get marks for the design of the spreadsheets that you've used you get marks or you'll receive marks based on the spreadsheet content so have you used formulas have you used functions anything like that um, is there evidence of those formulas and functions that you've used Okay, again, you don't have to use all of these, but you will get up to 10 marks for the use of these formulas, functions, and features. Okay, then if you've used multiple sheets, again, more marks. Graphs, more marks. Graphs that contribute to the solution. Have you done integration as well? Okay, and all of that totals up to your 25 marks. It's going to be the same for database. Obviously, the requirements are going to be a little different. Tables, records, fields, all these different things, relationships. Um, you'll have to go through that to see what they want from you in terms of access. And then if you're using PowerPoint, again, they have their own requirements as well. So please go through that make sure that whichever software you are using um, that you do comply with these requirements so that you can get those marks guys okay um, some of you might have decided to use a video or make a video on this that's also fine just make sure that you comply with the rubric okay um, i just want to go through this yeah so again phase three we're creating documents, our, our report, um, two of the following applications, so spreadsheet, database, or PowerPoint, um, whichever you want to use. Now that's basically what we've done there. Um, the final presentation, 
with a title page okay we've we've gone through all of that and guys yeah that is done so what they want you to submit at the end of phase three um, two of the following applications have been used your completed word processing document your completed spreadsheets and graphs um, your report and handed in on time so there is a lot to do in phase three um, so please at this point you should have decided which software you are using but you can see that you're going to get marks for first of all phase three itself then word and then any two other pieces of software that you've used okay and that should sort us out for phase three of our ieb 2023 cat pet